Yo, what's up guys? You've got Lightning here, back at you with another gameplay. This time we're in low elo. Uh, Silver 4, I think. Uh, we're playing a rally in the top lane versus Swain. Um, now, I've recorded this video in the recording mode because I've been sick, so I haven't been able to talk properly, so I haven't really been recording games as they happen, so that's why this one's uh, recorded after I've actually played the game. Uh, I've been trying to get different gameplays with different champions. I know I've got already a couple of Darius games and whatnot, so I want to try and mix it up. That's why I thought I'd upload this game for you guys today. Uh, so versing Swain, uh, I've normally... I'd normally start Q, which I just did, and I just sit in the bush until the minions push. Well, start getting low, because I don't want to take any free damage from him if I don't need to. He started E, so that's good. The, the, minions, the wave's not going to push, but he's, it's not going to do too much damage to me. <clears throat> so I can wait till I get my level 2 and hopefully go in on him. But I just gotta, the main thing in this matchup is just to not take too much free damage as much as you can. Uh, you, ideally you don't want to get pushed into the tower either, because you'll just get heaps of free um, combos on you. But at the same time you don't want to, you don't want to keep pushing the, the wave and be susceptible to ganks and um, also be susceptible to all his abilities. So you've got to watch out and just try to play the lane slowly, just kill all the CS you can, because there will be a point, uh, mainly around sort of level level 3 to 4, what, level 4, where you, you just, you can just all in them if you really want to, depending on what the wave's looking like, so, so I'm just killing the CS right here, trying to get as much as I can, I've only used one stack in my corrupting potion, so, the, the, lane, the lane's pushing straight to me, so, <clears throat> I don't want it to crash into my tower, but, if it does, that's, that's still fine, I've still got heaps of, uh, two pots left to, to regen on so that's okay but there's so many minions pushing towards towards me you know and I'm, I'm only three four CS down and I've got about shit like 15 minions there so now I just gotta wait it's gonna cr crash into my tower I can't really stop it so all I've got to do is just try and get as much as I can so he's just gonna chuck his Q down there he fucked up though look at him he comes under my tower and I get the stun on him and get a free kill so even though he put me in a really bad spot where I had to commit to some CS to try and get what I could under tower. He he still managed to stuff it up somehow. Um, I don't know why he'd walk under my tower but I guess that's just due to inexperience or, or something like that. So from here <clears throat> he's lost quite a lot of XP and now we can just start snowballing our lead by just getting, getting this wave, getting a good back. See, our back's going to be a lot better than his. What is, what's he got? So he's at a thousand gold. I'm at, I'm at 1400. So my back's going to be a lot more efficient than his. I'm going to try and push this into light, into the tower. And then and then back. So my back is going to be more efficient than his. Because I get to spend more gold. So he comes to the lane with a mana crystal. And a control ward. So I know I want a back. So I'm just going to get as much damage as I can on him. And we got him down to about 30% HP. So now I can back, come straight back to lane. And try and make a really good play on him because he's so low. And he's going to have to use all his potions to get back to full health. So I'm going to come to lane with the whole corrupting potion. Uh, a ruby crystal, a longsword dagger. It's a good combo for early... Uh, for, for early sort of pressure. You get the health, you get the attack speed and the extra AD. And it's just good for the, the sustain and the extra health to keep you a bit more tanky in the lane. And then just a bit more added, added pressure with the attack speed and the AD for, for, for the longsword. <clears throat> so right here, since I'm ahead of Swain, um, since he made that stake, I'm going to try and capitalize off it. So I know at this point, since he got a really bad buy and I got a really good one, I can, I can take him. So <clears throat> I'm going to see what the lane's going to do. And hopefully he'll push it back to me and then I can really make a good play off of him and, and with the, the EXP and the level advantage. So even though he's level 5, I still have more XP than him and I should hit level 6 first. But then I can see this thing happening in the in the mid lane, or in the, in the river, where they got the room off. I couldn't really help because they just had the numbers advantage. They they killed uh, they killed Lee and then Cat went to try and do something, but I couldn't really go in on that at all. So I just go straight back to top lane. Swain's still level 5. And I just want to try and make him miss CS and then get the CS. Because that thing that happened in the river, I could have pinged them all back and I probably should have. But I just want to focus on my lane and win my lane. 
So you notice they have a Swain top and a Gragas mid, so they've got that high AP, but then the jungler's mastered Yi, so I, I really want to try and snowball this lane and then and then itemize it properly. And then I'll be able to take them all. But see here, I'm so far ahead of Swain since I got the really good back that I can just dive him in five minions. Since he he didn't back after he got this an assist in the river there, so so he's still sitting on a mana crystal, so he's got he's got he's got no damage, no items or anything. So whereas I've got the attack speed, the AD, and the the health, the sustain, you know. So it's a pretty easy easy all in for me, and I get to shove that all the way into tower and then back for free. And then you notice he's only on twenty six CS, I'm on forty two, so. There's really, there's really no competition here. Well, right now, now's my chance to start snowballing this lane. I get my Phage, I get my double daggers, and I'm ready to go ham. If I get on this Swain, he's not going to be able to get me off him. Even with the, even with his W or his Q, with his slow, I'm just going to be able to stay on him with my Phage and my sticky power, and then um, keep auto-attacking him for gold. Because since I'm so far ahead, he's just... He's going to be so squishy, he's going to die too fast to even get his ult off and region health back up, so... We'll see what happens here. I can see the blue team's pinging around Dragon. Uh, we've both got our TPs, so it would be interesting to see if a TP play was necessary, but... Let's see, I'm just out trading the shit out of him. And that's not a really... that's not really an ideal trade. I mean, because you don't want to commit to something right in front of his tower but see here where the lane's pushing right now uh right now is right here is where the lane is in a good position for me to fight him see as i go in i go straight away without even hesitating because i know that <clears throat> he can't it's going to take him a while to get back to his tower blue is flash there we go he's got so he's got that much more lane to cover to get back to his tower that i can just all in him straight away i know he can't out damage me at this point because i got my phage and my double daggers he did, he's only got his um the first part of his Rod of Ages first. So I blow my flash there. Good. My ult came off cooldown, that's why I was able to make that play. reason why I blew my flash is because <clears throat> he blew his flash about 30 seconds before, so if I can blow my flash and get the kill, I think it's worth it. Because since I've got a gap closer and I'm really mobile and he's not, um, if I've... If, I mean, if he doesn't have flash and I have flash, it's, um, it's really risky for him to be in the lane, but... If we, if we both don't have flash, that's fine, if it gives me the kill. So now I just want to push it straight back into tower again. Get in that tower. So we've finished zoning him and trying to <clears throat> um, freeze the lane. Now we're on pushing mode, so since we know we can kill him really easily, we've got three kills off him, and he's half of our CS, I'm just going to start pushing the lane. And I'll probably push it consistently over and over again. <clears throat> Until I can find a good uh, ro like roam play to make. So what do we got? We got our Sheen now. Sheen's a really good item. I like to go Sheen. If I can, if I get double daggers and then I can, and then I can have enough for Sheen afterwards, I do like to get the full Sheen instead of getting like a Stinger or something because the double daggers gives you really efficient attack speed for the cost. So there's no real point in getting Stinger if you can help it. Try and get the Sheen before the Stinger. That's what I always try and do. Just leave it on the double daggers. Although if you are having to itemize with your boots uh, early because of a hard lane, um, it can be annoying. The, the build path can be annoying because your item slots get full. But see how here I've got I got hit by his W because I already used my Q. <coughs> but see now he's he's, he's pushed out of lane, so I can just push the lane to tower. Keep pressuring his tower and probably get first blood tower. And then give my team the global gold. So I don't know where he is right now. I think he, he would have had to back, surely. Let me have a look. Okay, so he's backing now. Oh, that's going to ruin the surprise. See, I should have watered because this is the last thing I expected. Um, I did not expect the Yi to be in the bush. I knew, this, I knew the Swain TP there because I could hear it. But I didn't realize that the Swain would, <laughs> uh, the Yi would be in the bush too. And then I have stuff up there. He got the slow on me. I should have got the Yi and then and then backed off. But I got a little bit greedy there, um, and tried to get the double kill. 
But then he got his cooldowns back as Ian is Q, and that just that got him the extra damage. And I wasn't able to close the gap and, and hit him. So a bit unfortunate, but uh, just a simple greedy play for me. It's just my mistake. But I'm so far ahead, and I have my Triforce at 11 and a half minutes, so I'm not really fussed. I can still come back to lane and absolutely destroy this, this guy. And I, I could probably roam and make plays if I really want to as well. But I TP back to top because I want to keep pressure in this tower. No one's got first blood tower yet, you see. So I don't know my bot lane's pushing as well. So I want to try and put myself in a position where their jungler comes to me instead of my bot lane. Since I'm so far ahead, oh, my bot lane's pretty far ahead too. Okay, so we got first blood tower. Uh, the bot lane got it first. That's fine. So now I want to get mine to give my team even more gold. Even if Swain comes back to lane, I could probably still kill him. Okay, so he's back to lane. Look at the level difference. Two level difference. He's got 46 CS to my 88. And I've got a full item. He doesn't even have his Rod of Ages yet. So I know for a fact that any time he wants to fight, if he ever gets into a fight with me, if I'm ever able to, to get onto him, he's probably going to die. Unfortunately, I can't TP bot, but it looks like my, my team's... Uh, wins this fight, I can't remember. Let's see, I go straight on to Swain. But I can kill him straight away. Killed him right in front of his tower, so he doesn't have TP, so he loses all this farm. It looks like, look, looks like my team won that fight, but they didn't die, they killed Master Yi, their jungler, so that should be a dragon for us. And Infernal Dragon's really good for us, because we've got the... <clears throat> you know, all of our champions use those. We don't have a, a tank or anything. So we all benefit from... Um, extra AD and AP, so that's good. So just get this tower here. Looks like my team overextended or overstayed and then gives Jin the double kill. But then Jin dies as well. Sweet. So now we've got top tower. We can see Yi down bottom. Uh, this, uh, yeah, I've got the fogger all on the right, on the right setting, so yeah, Yi's down bottom. And we know that, so we've got that information, so we can keep pushing. Swain can't stop us. Uh, I'd say they're going to need at least two people to, to stop us right now. Swain can't stop us on a, on his own. No way. But I'm just trying to steal stuff from their jungle. Make sure when you comes up here, he can't get anything. Now it's time to back. Because look at my gold, 6,250 to Swain's 3,700. Uh, the gold difference is just like, astronomical. There's no comparison. And I've got so much more gold than anyone else in the game. Uh, except my Kate. She's just going up to 6,000 now. So she's 200 behind me. So she's doing a really good job too. And she's farming better than anyone else in the game too. So me and her... It's up to me and her to sort of, sort of carry this game. As long as we both play good. And, um, and sort of don't make too many mistakes. Then we should have the win quite easily. So you notice how I Q out of his W. And once I do that, he rules Flash for some reason. I guess he thought he was going to try and get over the wall with the, the plant, but... It's all about dodging his W. And you can do this on other matchups too with other champions, like... Um, uh, another one you dealt to is Darius, like when he starts his Q animation, you just Q into him straight away. And then you dodge his, um, his the blade of his axe and he doesn't get the heal off. And that's just another example we have with the Swain W. When he casts the animation, that's when you Q into him if he's running away. If he was smart... And he was a bit higher health. He could have stood in his W and stunned me. And then got his Q and E off or something. But unfortunately for him, that was not the case. So now, it's 15 minutes into the game and we're already pressuring the second the second tower. So now he's got to come and answer that. And I have a three levels advantage on him. And I'm also so strong, you know, I can just walk into their jungle, stay in their jungle and take a free blue buff. Uh, and Master Yu can't really fight me at all. He's two and four level... Level 9, I've got 3 levels on him. I've got full vision of their jungle, well, this particular part of their jungle. So they can't really come and contest me at all. I just put another ward down there, just in case they're coming from base or from wolves. I'll be able to see them um, before the pink ward would actually see them. Just pressuring Swain a bit more. See, now Swain's panicking. He's he's asking for assistance. He's pinging. His, his team's probably flaming him and talking shit to him, but... You know, so he, he's putting his, the rest of his team in a bad mindset, most likely. And I just get to free push this top lane. In an ideal situation, I'd be able to group him, just push as a team, but... 
So my mid lane is my cat's got seven kills. My my Kate's going really well. They're not in really any real trouble. The Yi can't really gank and, and kill my whole team or anything like that. Something stupid like that. And they're not roaming very effectively. So I've just I can just keep going on the Swain, even though I've only got my Triforce. Uh, just dive him again. Flash. There we go. And now this is free. Because their, their whole team's mid. I can kill Swain whenever I want. Even when he's defending the tower, I just can just dive him. Now Yi comes. So Yi's had to answer this push. And my team can 4v3 in the mid lane. Probably most likely get the mid tower. And Yi's got to sit here and wait for this farm uh, to answer the top push too. So it looks like my team's fighting in the mid lane. So even though they're fighting in the mid lane, I still go for this tower. Yi goes on me and I stun him instantly. He really, um, I love the true damage because when Yi W's he gets healing but then my true damage just eats through his W. So that's good, I was able to really, really distract them off the off the mid tower there. So it looks like my team's going to be able to get that pretty easily. But now they're all coming for me, I'm not sure if I die here. So that's just the damage of Aurelia. I was able to get a kill even though I die and I got shut down, I was able to get a kill in the process. So I bought their whole team. Master, you had to answer the call top. Uh, the whole team had to back off the mid tower to come and kill me because I killed the Yi at their at their inhibitor tower, and then gave my team the complete freedom to just get that mid tower. So now they're on uh, rift heal. Uh, if they get rift healed, you know um, they can most likely use a mid would be the best place to use it. If we group mid and they use it mid, that would just totally carve them up. Give us give us so much global gold if we if we check the gold again. I'm on 9,200 gold, Swain's on 5,000 gold, my Caitlyn is on 7,500 gold, and she'll be the next highest. So even though my Kate's on 7,500 gold, I'm still almost two got 2,000 gold up on her, so... I'm really far ahead in this game, and as I earlier, you, you want to stay ahead of the level curve, right? And right now the level curve is... Um, you know, the support's level 9, ADC is level 10, mid lane is solo lane is level 12. Um, Swain's way behind level 10 and I'm level 13 so I'm way ahead of everyone right so that's really good for me so now I want to group I go for the um, the Janna there with my Titanic Hydra Titanic Hydra is really good for grouping a lot of people use it for split pushing but I make a big mistake here unfortunately kept Dagger of the tower the Greg Assault was really good I'll give him that uh, I wasn't expecting that and he ulted me right into the tower and I wasn't really able to get out in time because of the CC. But that was, that was, it still gave my team the opportunity to, to get that tower for free with the Rift Heal. See if we look around. See my team's able to get this mid tower here. Uh, did they get it? Uh, they're probably going to get forced off it because they're Janolt. And then they're running out of minions so. That's okay. He's going on for a bit of a trade. See, they should really back off here. As soon as Jin altered, they they should have probably just backed off straight away. Holy shit, cat. Well, she gets a kill. Uh, and I... I TP here. Uh, thinking I could probably save her and get some damage off on these guys. If this was sort of a high elo game, I would just let her die. But <laughs> I was getting really um, bloodthirsty, so... <laughs> I got really bloodthirsty, but hey, I was able to take two people down with me, right? So they're not they're not going to get anything off my death. And then I killed ah uh, their Janna and their mid laner, so there goes uh, quite a lot of their damage in their peel. So they're definitely not going to get this Infernal Dragon. It was still a mistake for me. I don't think it was a very worth TP because now we lose our top tower because Swain TP's top. Um. And ideally, I want to try and give him as less gold as possible and just keep him out of the game as long as possible. Because late game with a Spirit Visage and the correct items, Swain is just a pain in the ass. And even I, even I rally, I can't really take him late game because he just has too much health, too much healing, and you can't really put out enough damage to... You can't really put out enough damage and resist his damage long enough to, to beat him. That's why you need to get ahead and, and just leave him in your dust as, for as long as you can. And it's quite possible, you know, um, you can beat Swain uh, level 4 onwards. I, I recommend level 4 is the time you probably want to fight him in the lane. And then just try and snowball off that. And when, when you're both 6, you can beat him level 6, but you got to have the right items. 
I normally like to go wit's end, but this game I just went Triforce because I was ahead early from that when he dove me, well, when he was got caught in the aggro. So right now, if he has to answer the top lane, he's going to get absolutely shot on, but I can see him. Is he mid? Uh, I can see Gragas mid. Okay, so he's mid. So someone has to answer this top call, right? So someone has to come top. Now, they're pinging mid. Blue team's pinging mid because they they know I'm pushing top, obviously. My team's been good and they're actually pushing while they're backing off. So, <clears throat> I know someone's going to come for me eventually. And they do. But I'm sort of hoping my team can push far, hard enough to try and keep this, the split push in, even. Because when you're split pushing, you need to sort of be in synergy with your team so they're pushing at the same rate. You can't be half a lane in front of your team and then because then their whole team can just converge on you, kill you, and then and then go back to, you know, fighting a 5v4 in the middle lane. So, I'm sort of trying to be careful of that. I know they need at least two people to come and kill me because I'm so strong right now, so... And then you decides to come and... See, look how quickly I killed him. And then, now that I'm just being such a pain in the ass in the jungle, I guess I am being a bit of a smart ass here, because this is a bit really... It's really greedy just to be here but I know how strong I am so I don't really think they can kill me especially with the backup of my team Jin wastes his heal there kill another one then go for Janna see so we're just so strong at this point it's ridiculous 15 kills in 23 minutes and that's just the power of a rally at a snowball if you're here if you're ahead of that level curve um, <laughs> he almost deleted that cake. But there's no way I was getting hit by that, that Gragas E. No way. I wasn't too sure if he had flash or not, so he could have flashed on us, but... Was not going to let that happen. And that's the other thing, if you could dodge the CC as a rallyer, then you got you can save your Q to get away and, and use it to sort of go in for a fight if you need to, so... It's always good to try and dodge that CC. Make quick work of Swain there. Try and stay above, leave, leave some space between me and Leona to stop the like splash damage or anything like that. So I don't want to take any more damage. But I gotta be careful here because there's only three of us here. Even though Yi's dead, Yi's spawning now. We get a really good engage on the Jin and he dies pretty quickly. And we just clear the minions to get the inhib. It's all about using advantages, right? So I'm so far ahead of everyone right now got my Hex Drinker as well, so no one can really contest me. I've got my Titanic Hydra for the health, I've got my Hex Drinker for the MR, and my Ninja Tabis for the AD, or the, the, the armor. I was having so many thoughts about saving Leona here, but then I, th I thought, well, Yee's there, I'm just gonna, I might get a kill, but I might die. So me dying at this point in the game is really bad, I, I can't afford to die. Uh, I can't afford to die and leave my team to defend on their own, because... Since I have all the gold for my team, I have 14,000 gold, I have 3,000 gold more than Caitlyn, I have double my Swain's gold. See, look at the gold difference between me and Swain. I just spent 3,700 gold. What do I get now? So I get my more of Malmortius. Uh, do I buy anything else? So I've still got 2,200 gold. Do I spend it? So I get a locket. Okay, so locket's like a go-to item for helping your team like generally if you're ahead you, you can build the like the hp bill which is triforce into like a titanic hydra and then you can go lock it black cleaver uh block it and black cleaver are sort of in any order depending on which one you need first but with caitlin she doesn't really build a black cleaver so black cleaver is not bad especially if they are building like armor like swain is building armor Yi has ninja tabbies gragas has uh no armor but jen is getting locket so cleaver's still good but Locket's just to help the team out. Since I've got a lot of the gold, I'm trying to put some of that gold into my team's pocket by helping them out with a big shield from the Locket. So here we just, you only get some massive ult, and we just jump on her. I get Greg assaulted. <coughs> oh, shoot. So we go straight for the Baron. I mean, if you're... To play it safe, you always want to, once you get a thing like that, like, you kill three of their team, you play it safe by getting the Baron, right? Um, and then you push, and you push up. You don't want to take risks, like I've seen in lots of games where, instead of 
after you get sort of three kills, you don't go for the Baron, you just go for the end, and then you get aced in front of their base, and then they get Baron. Games can turn so hard like that, it's all about just playing it right. Like, I know the game's already over, I'm so far ahead, and I don't think I'm going to make a big mistake to, to sort of lose the game. But going for Baron is, is sort of the best option. Uh, there I get my Kindle Gem, that's going to be a Black Cleaver. The reason why I get the... Can I afford the... Uh, Okay, so I couldn't even afford the Phage, but the reason why I get the Kindle Gem first is for the health and CDR, and then, again, because I've already got a Phage effect from the Triforce. So here I'm trying to build a Black Cleaver. I don't think I get to build the whole Black Cleaver, but the reason why I'm going for Black Cleaver is because it's a really good team fighting build, the Triforce into the Trinity, uh, sorry, the Titanic Hydra, and especially with the Locket, and even the more, um, because they're magic threat, uh, being Gragas mostly, and then... The locket's good for the shield for the team, and then the black cleaver just helps shred armor. So it's just an all-round good health team fighting build. So I didn't take too much damage there from that shield. The shield goes all the way up to about 650, I think. So it's actually a really good shield. And as if you build like Blade of the Rock King, the chances of you healing 650 health through life steal is, is kind of low, depending on how much CC they have, depending how many times you can auto attack. There's lots of factors depending on that. So Getting a locket's not a bad choice at all. It's, all, it's an item I kind of um, buy quite often now. But it depends on the game. If they if they, if they, they don't have a TP or something, I'm not going to build a locket because I'm going to split push. So a locket would be a bit redundant. But see, I grabbed the blue buff. I'm waiting for the top lane to push. But my team just makes quick work of these guys. They don't even need me at this point. We're just so far ahead. But I'm going in because I need to help my team just end this game. So they're all coming towards me. I make quick work of the, the Jin and then Jenna. And then you gets away. But that was that's just the power of Aurelia and, and the power of snowballing a game like that. Like see Swain has eight thousand four hundred gold, I have sixteen thousand six hundred gold. So I still have double his gold. Which is really crazy to, to, to be able to do that, you know. I think he was a bit tilted at the end there, but yeah, we managed to pull it off. So it's kind of a fun game, especially if you get ahead, you know, going like a build like this, you've still got the damage, but you're also kind of tanky, you know, so... Like, I've still got 3,000 health, just just shy of 3,000 health, so I'm still really, really, really tanky. But they've got no real massive damage threats on their team, um, I guess because we're so far ahead and they're so far behind. So that sort of puts that puts that out a bit, but um, it's, still, it's still a nice build, I suppose. And it's a fun game, because you don't want to be squishy versus things like Swain. You don't want to give him a, a, an opportunity to sort of swing the tides of the game, so... So yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, I hope I explained things uh, clearly. If I didn't, sorry. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and if you like the video, give it a like, and if you like my videos and you want to see more, give it a subscribe. Thanks for that. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Yeah!